All right then. Let's head downstairs and search what I believe to be the first floor. I guess the floor above the ground floor. So what do you call it? The first or the second floor is uh, somewhat irrelevant. <laughs> oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Sounded positively vampiric. Oh. Hey! How dare you? Oh boy, that suit of armor is... Uh, slowly but surely heading my way. Come on, can I not run past oh. it? Right, fine. Oh. The little closes. <laughs> can I even try to open it? It is unfortunately locked. And alas, alas, the suit of armor is a threat. Oh. You try to approach it, you get oh. horribly slu- no, really? No? You get... Oh. This is getting annoying. <laughs> you walk down the stairs, the door closes. Now, you presumably ought to somehow aggro the knight, otherwise you won't even know that it's aggro a ball. Come on now. Ah. And then you presumably ought to flee. Through here? Possibly. Onwards. I could run, I'm not sure I ought to. Because it really isn't. A need to hurry. Hold on. Which way did I come from? I did not come from here. Does this door lead outside or is that a separate one? Does the corridor... Okay, this is where I came from. Never mind. This is the path forward. Can you close the door, please? Thank you. Alright, the next question is, how do I deal with the night? Is there anything I have that could help? I could try to use the old Indian cover on it. Not sure that would work, but uh, I hypothetically could drop it somewhere. Presumably you're supposed to use it to make a pit trap. Oh, there was something on the mantle. Is there a mantle here? That is a mantle as far as I'm concerned. What is this? You find a notebook. Oh no, not like this. Fine, give me the broken saber and I shall use it! No, come on, come on, no! No, 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 keep on! Keep bashing. You just have to position yourself properly and you can... Keep attacking. Until the enemy has been subdued. But before you position yourself, of course, you are the quite vulnerable. Oh dear, that was unfortunate. I literally have a single hit point left. I have put myself in quite a horrible spot. Quite unenviable.
Shouldn't have taken all that damage at the very start, but whoa, what? What? What did you even die to? Oh no, don't, no, don't be like that! See here, this is what annoys me. I can just ignore... I can just ignore the knight, but I'm not sure that... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, really. Because if I don't... If I just completely ignore the knight, then... Uh, granted, he doesn't start chasing me, but it seems somewhat unfair. He's just uh, standing there idly. Maybe I'm supposed to defeat him? That seems unlikely, considering... My current uh, uh, situation. I don't really have weapons that would deal all that well with the knight. Never mind, never mind. Unless there is a particular puzzly way for me to subdue him. Yes, then this will do. It absolutely will not. You can quite evidently stun him and even stun lock him, but uh, I don't think you can do anything else. I don't think you can actually defeat him this way. I hate the idea that you're supposed to ignore the knight entirely. But yes, it really aids exploration if you do that. You don't have to run away from him, you don't have to worry about him at all. I could head downstairs instead of exploding here. Should I? I could try to leave. Fine, let's try that. Heading downstairs. And right to the exit. Can I actually leave? What is that? Uh. Was that supposed to be a portal? That was highly unexpected. Alright, one thing I have managed to figure out over time is that I should definitely make more saves. <laughs> and that is, uh, of course, tied to another thing I have managed to figure out. Namely, this game pulls no punches. Or, to be less um, ambiguous about it, less polite about it, you can die in a variety of ways that... Uh, don't even try to pretend to be fell. You can try to open a doll you have no reason to believe will um, lead to anything bad, and you will just die outright. For a reason that isn't particularly clear after you die, but it's even more certainly isn't any, well, near clear. Before you do so. Okay, so there's a... Uh, this door is locked. Beyond the other one is uh, some sort of a crazed swordsman. I really need more weapons. Do I need weapons? I'm not sure I can defeat these guys with weapons. I think I need to solve puzzles in order to rid myself of them. Oh, hello there. Are you mannequins or are you actual monsters? Because if you're monsters, then this is pretty ludicrous. You look like wax statues to me, but then again, that might just be because you don't have any idle animations. Oh, come on. Come on, lady. You're so adept at slicing these guys to oblivion, and yet you have failed again. 
Yes, I guess I should go for those white slides. Sorry, sorry about that. But yes, of course, of course they were not merely statues. They were actual monsters just frozen in. This is fine, this is fine. The fall of them in the room. It used to be five, but I've defeated one. And uh, apparently they're only willing to attack me one at a time, which I can absolutely easily deal with. I'll slice this guy and move on to the others. What? Ah yes, you get startled because that guy gets up from his chair. <laughs> Well, he was waiting for his meal. Actually, you might very well be the meal he was waiting for patiently at the table. And of course, he'll try to attack you by his lonesome. And thankfully, you can neatly and easily defeat him. Like, what? You get startled by another one? Yes, of course. Lady. Lady, lady, relax, relax. It'll be fine. Just keep on doing whatever you were doing so far. It seems to be working out. Let's keep slicing. You don't even need the proper saber. Whatever's left of the one you're currently wielding is more than enough. Right, onwards. Aggro the final one. Yeah. The fact that I got so horribly mangled so far is embarrassing, but uh, I guess I'll live with that, otherwise I would have to reload quite a bit into the past, so I would have to replay basically the entire game. I'm not willing to do that, I'll just try not to get hit further down the line. Can I open the door again? Can I get out of here? Yes, thankfully I can. Let's switch to searching and instead check out the shelves, then the table. Nothing important here. What about the fireplace? There's bound to be something at the fireplace, right? No, not really. The table? It has been set as nothing you want to pick up. Not a needle plate, not a glass, not the silver well, nothing. Nothing interests you here. What about the curtain over there? What is it? What is it this time? Why did the music change? If you hold the search button, she will move forward in this bizarre fashion. That's something to remember. I also need to remember to keep on saving. Otherwise I'll have to redo these sections. Presumably the only reason for me to deal with this room was to be able to access the other rooms. In the air. What is that? You find a lighter. Great. <laughs> Don't tell me this deals damage to you. <laughs> Nothing important. Can you <laughs> open the curtains? Okay. Don't tell me this is hurting No! The smoke knocked her out? This is unacceptable. Alright, you know what? Fine. Let's open this doll first. Inspect this place. I am not picking up the lighter quite yet. And of course, there's a doll up ahead. And there's a corridor to the right. Let's go through the doll first. It's one of those werewolf things. 
or just wolf things. The world part is uh, not necessarily particularly developed. Presumably you can push this aside. I don't know. Is there any water here? Uh, let's switch to exploration mode. Let's switch to searching. No water. All right then. Our utilities, unfortunately, have been cut off. I don't know. What's beyond this door? Presumably some bows. Is it a path to the basement? What? What is it? Oh. There's a fine switch to your broken saber and keep on slicing. Keep on slicing until whatever's out there is gone. I think it's dead. You find an oil can! Excellent. Marvelous. Just brilliant. Alright. Search this. You find a box of shoes. I didn't expect to find much. Uh, between the coals, but uh, fine. I'll take the shoes. What shoes are these? Oh, there's water over here! Look at this barrel, it's full of water! If only I had a container for it. Yeah, presumably I do. Let's first of all open the shoebox where I find a revolver. How handy. Six bullets are loaded within. Alright then. The oil lamp is full. That might have been a dumb idea. I've just emptied the oil can. Oh dear. Yeah, that was that was absolutely insipid. Why would I refill? No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It actually refilled the lamp up to a hundred, so that uh, well, that oil did not go to waste. Thank goodness. Do I have any container? I don't want to put this down. I want to use it to hold water. Now, presumably, I shouldn't use it to hold water. Presumably, something else I entirely need to fill with water. Presumably, I will be given the opportunity to use the item. I'll be able to use it to hold water. Mm. Not sure what I need the water for quite yet, but uh, I presume I'll be able to figure that one out further down the line. All right, fine. Search the table. There's presumably nothing of note over here. Search the cupboards. You'll have to. Oh, fair enough. I found a knife. Two knives, in fact. Will serve me well as weapons. Might just be something in particular I need to do with these knives. Other than that, there's uh, nothing important over here. Although, considering the way it is positioned, I will try to push it out of the way. See what lies beyond, alright? The only alternative I see is that you have to push it from the other side. No, fair enough, you are supposed to leave it be. Leave it where it is. What about this door then? Anything of note here? Any monsters nearby? A key! But what does it unlock? I'll have to keep track of all the... F oh, a biscuit box. What exactly am I supposed to do with bis... I can eat the biscuits. Please eat the biscuits. You feel better. Thank goodness I'm up to 16 health. Eating the biscuits was the best decision of my life. It's better than the healing draft. Anything else of note here in the pantry? 
Other than the biscuits and the key. Bags of flour, as far as I can see, but uh, I have no use for them quite yet. What is it with that? Is it that every time the clock strikes, new monsters spawn for me to have to deal with? Alright, uh, there's nothing of use in the other pantry. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's more to search here. What about this cupboard? You find a matchbox. Let's take it. How can I use the matchbox exactly? Well, that's something we'll find out soon enough. Nothing else of note here. Oh, maybe I can prepare a stew. A pot of stew! Which I can eat, presumably to heal myself. Though I don't need to quite yet. And of course, there's yet another door over there. Just let me double check. This is where I found the key, isn't it? Yes, it is. So once I back out, I can uh, enter the final door. I will be saving compulsively. As you can see, I do have my reasons. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. All right. That leads to the hallway. Guess I've covered a decent bit of ground. And I guess I will have to run in circles to evade my foes. Alright, through here you once again reach uh, the hallway. The other exits I ought to explore before moving on, lest I forget about them. The one my dog, oh, how, how can I forget about this obvious place that uh, ultimately led to my demise purely through fume inhalation. Let's save before I deal with this nonsense. Pick up the light as soon as humanly possible and then leave. I hate this room. How am I even doing? I'm at 11 hit points! 11... I, I was at... I was at what before I approached that? This is... this is unacceptable. I start out at 16. Literally 16. What, do you need a gas mask to deal with that nonsense? Don't get anywhere near the table, for now. <laughs> and that neatly brings you down five hit points. But I need the light. I presume I need the lighter anyway. Locked, damn it. Well, it is the. F <laughs> the fumes cannot reach me here. Yeah, they can. Fine, let's search this place before I. Uh, before I actually properly search it. Alright, here's the plan. Here is my plan for this spot. I'll get the lighter. I will not lose any hit points. In this place, that's... That's what I'm going for. No hit points lost. I refuse to lose hit points on this damn room. And of course there are surprisingly many things to find here. Oh, it's all open doors, never mind. Oh, wait a minute, that was the doll over here to the side. Alright then. I need to pick up the record and the other book. 
Once again, without getting... Ah, oh, dear. You have to open it from the other side, fine. Right? Let's get a running start. And first of all, just open the door. And get out. I know that there's this uh, insane swordsman over there. That's fine. How am I doing? Am I at 16? I am still at 16. All right. I refuse to lose health on the gas trap, as I've mentioned. Search. Take the record and the book, and then get the hell out. Are you still at 16? Yes, sweet, sweet 16 indeed. All right. In that case... We shall save and then read the book. Memories by Alistair Boliskin. Printed in London, A. Machen, editor, 1833. It was during a conversation with G that one first heard of the New England fishing village of I. The area was apparently the ideal place from which to witness unusual phenomena in space. The quality of the air, along with the conjunction of several favorable factors, made one impatient to get started. Having gleaned what information one could from the British Museum, one set off with all haste. One's work on space and comets in particular had met with a warm response, and one thought it judicious to include several original sketches of the phenomenon, sketches which one felt were sure to arouse a great deal of keen interest in the scientific circles of 1834. One refers naturally to the passage of Halley's Comet. I see. So these bizarre happenings must be tied to the comet then. They don't necessarily have to, but that's what I presume. Editor's note. Lord Boliskin's memoirs end at this point. Who knows what extraordinary contributions he might still have made had he not succumbed during his visit to New England to dementia, followed by an early death in St. Andrew's Hospital. All right. That's uh, a little bit of plot for us. Haley's Comet. What about the record? How can I use it? Presumably I need a record player. You have nothing to listen to it on. I will find... I will find a device that will allow me to listen to this record. Hmm. The door over there is closed. I've opened this up. I presumably ought not to bother the crazed swordsman. Which leaves few options. This door is locked. That limits my options even further. The area over there has already been thoroughly explored. You know, I said that the door was locked. And uh, as correct as that assessment may be, I wonder, can I use the key on this doll? Or can I use it possibly on the doll through here, beyond the smoke trap? Or, you know, the gas trap, or whatever that is. Let's take the key, equip it, and try to use it soon enough. Come on. Run! It's locked. Can you open it? No, you cannot. <laughs> and of course that hurts you, which is unacceptable from my perspective, so we shall reload. You're not gonna find a gas mask either, I would presume, so the only way you're going to deal with this entire scenario is um, the way you've been dealing with, with it so far. By running through that area. Let's see, that's the key... It doesn't even open this door, how fascinating, I... Felt almost certain it would, but no, it does not. That side has been explored, leaving this one. Two doors left closed. Uh, 
Beyond which point we will be done with the ground floor. Oh, how nice, how quaint. Look at it. Look at this little statue. Anything to be found over here amongst the greenery? Anything hidden in the bushes? Anything of note at all. I will search the statue momentarily. Don't worry about that. And presumably I'll get accosted over here in the garden, but uh, that is to be expected. At least the plants don't appear to be poisonous. So that's a bit of good news. You find an arrow, and another arrow, and uh, well, there are more arrows of spiders! I'm sorry, how exactly am I supposed to deal with those spiders? What, do I kick them into submission? I also can't carry any more items, so that's uh, highly unfortunate. Puts a bit of a damper on my ability to deal with additional items I may find. What, do I just, um, I just drop the books? Fine, I might as well just... Uh, Leave them here to possibly retrieve them further down the line. It's not like I need them anymore. After I've already read them. Presumably I won't need them for future reference. Ugh. That made a satisfying thunk. Surely you don't expect me to shoot the spiders with arrows. That would be ludicrous. Once again, how am I supposed to deal with the spiders? Am I supposed to stomp them or something? I genuinely don't know. Maybe, just maybe, I'm supposed to ignore them or run away from them. Oh, well, you know, get hurt. Trying to deal with them. I was about to ask. That was the doll. That was the right answer. That's the doll. I can access using that key. All right. It's a musty little basement. An excellent place to hide all sorts of goods. Yeah, I can presumably push this. Oh, don't tell me that the rats are a threat. Please don't be a threat, rats. Are the wine bottles of any interest to you? And I don't mean personal interest, I mean in terms of solving this mystery. Alright, let's ignore this box. There's something over the a clump of pixels that might be of some help. You find some bullets. Oh, thank goodness. And of course, if you venture all the way over there, you can hide from the camera. So that I can no longer see you. You can also hide behind the bookshelf. Oh, thank goodness you come back into view. Now listen here, little rat. You are... You're mildly scary. However, uh, you are made significantly less scary by the fact that um, you're stuck over the... <laughs> and can't actually reach me. Yeah, getting stuck in scenery is an unfortunate affliction, but uh, that's your problem, not mine. I'll presumably have to fight that rat as it unsticks itself. <laughs> nope. Oh my goodness, they have an attack and a... No, this is... Everything is trying to kill me. 
Do I shoot a rat with a revolver? Is this what we're down to? I don't think I want to do that. Do I shoot a rat with a bow? No, that also sounds uh, unappealing. Let's try to fight a rat with a cutlass. Logos have mercy. Look at it go! That's presumably the way I am supposed to deal with the spiders as well. Come on, rat. Surely you're not immo- Come on, it is- No. No, don't- Don't tell me that I can't deal with the damn rats! I can hit it once in the air, too. Is this seriously happening? I can deal with those zombie-looking things, but I can't slay a rat? Well, that's highly unfortunate, but fair enough. Let's uh, stop trying. Yeah, whatever, rat. Stop trying to attack me. I'm desperately trying to run, but, uh... There we go. You don't double tap it, you let go and then tap. I you presumably supposed to... Push this out of the way. You find a block, that's... Uh. What?! You got in the way of the barrels, and you got hurt. That's absolutely monumentally silly, but fair enough. Crawl over here. You know... Never mind! Leave. That was horrible. Presumably you're supposed to slay that beastie, but for now... Let's be satisfied with leaving. Having explored this part of uh, the mansion. Oh dear, what now? I'm at six hit points. The books are still here, thank goodness. Actually... I wouldn't be that bothered if they were gone, it's not that big of a deal. Let's deal with the spiders now, or... At the very least, let's try to deal with the spiders. Let's actually heal up. Yuck! Some human fl- I'm sorry, what?! Reloaded the revolver. Great, she, um... She's officially a cannibal now. No, 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 she refused to eat any Hmm. Okay, so we still have access to the pot of stew that is made of human flesh, and, um... We could just use it to feed some creature out there, possibly the one in the basement. It's because feeding creatures human flesh is exactly the way to go. Let's try to slay spiders with the knife. Try being the upper rating word, for all I know it'll go down about as well as trying to deal with the rats. The vermin infestation problem is, uh... Appe appears to be an, an intractable issue. Really? Really? You, you can't... And as you pass out, you get dragged over the... Right. Right. We've been through this one. So what? Is this place inaccessible now because of the spiders? Is this the world I live in? No entry. Because there are spiders, though. Outrageous. Yeah. 
You know, at this point I'm tempted to try to deal with the swordsman just for the hell of it. If I- no, 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 not through here. This door's locked, obviously. Should be able to run past him. I was able to run past him. Oh, this door is locked. How unfortunate. Makes me wonder, can you actually defeat him? Oh, there's another book here. Yes, but I presumably ought not to... <laughs> yeah, do a backflip, Captain. Of course, the screenshots for the saves are even lower quality than the game itself, obviously and unsurprisingly. Okay, do I deal with the crazed swordsman? Can I actually deal with the crazed swordsman? The big problem I have with this game is that I never can quite tell what I can and what I cannot defeat. I think what I need to handle now is that giant worm in the basement. Although, in earnest, I don't know. Maybe I am supposed to feed it. The pot of soup. Or maybe, just maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm supposed to fight it. I don't know. There's one way to find out. Risk dying. Right, hold on. So the room on the left... Neither room interests me. The room on the left is the one with the gas. The room on the right... Conversely is... Um, the one with the pantry and the water. That I don't need quite yet. No, leave this. This is the area with the spiders, and here we have the basement with the rats. Descend gracefully, and let's try to use that pot of soup made out of human flesh. Just sneak past the rats, please. They seem to be largely lodged. Yeah, whatever. Need to get up to attack me, which is hilarious. They seem to be lodged within the shelves to an extent. Now you cut that out! Here's a part of su You know what? No, 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 hold on. Let's save first, just to be on the safe side. And now, I'll take the part of soup. And throw it at the beastie. Aya! You hungry, little fella? I get knocked out. And afterwards, obviously, I get dragged onto the altar, and you know what happens there. Okay. I have a pot of soup. Are you willing to eat the soup? By every stretch of the imagination, I am dead now.
Wait, what? I can j I have the the option to jump. Hop! Well, the interesting thing is I can jump over here. Am I supposed to evade that creature? I have no idea. Tell you what. Why did I get two knives? Am I supposed to use them on something in particular? Fine, never mind that. Let's whip out the revolver. Oh, you know, I could try to shoot the... Uh, the creature with the bow. Yes, I understand. Can you seriously just run past the worm? I can't get over how ludicrous this is. Can can I just I'm sorry one, I can't take you seriously. You deform to grotesquely. I'm out of here. I can no longer jump. Are you supposed to jump into the w No, no, they, they wouldn't duh. Well, let's see, are you supposed to jump into the maw of the giant worm? I don't think you are. Now, it's not impossible for that to be the case, but uh, I find that unlikely. Leave me alone, rat. Do me a favor, just go up. Thank you. So there's one more mystery unsolved. Similar to how I have absolutely no clue how to deal with the spiders. They're just the uh, lurking. Can I sneak past them? Is there anything in particular I'm supposed to use against them? I don't know. The best thing I can think of at this stage is to head upstairs. Try to find additional items and possibly deal with the situation that way. You can count the ground floor as a uh, tenuously explored to see what horrors of vintage gaming await me on the first floor or the second, depending on how you count. See the next episode of my Alone in the Dark playthrough. Thanks for watching, and you will see me elsewhere.